best zombie proof houses. But first, thank you Ace of Spades for leaving us this comment. We're glad to have people from all over the world watching our videos. Let us know what country you're from in the comment section and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 10, Anti-Zombie Cabin. The zombie apocalypse could be here any day now. We're hoping you've taken into consideration how you're going to survive through it and where you're going to live. While isolation will be key from staying away from the groups of ravaging zombies, preparing for the defense is also important. This zombie shed designed by a British man seems to have the right basic idea. This cabin features interior gardens, weapon storage, security lights, and a decent vantage point from the top. Choosing solar panels will give him a great source of power since conventional power lines will most likely be out of service. This might not be the best design on this list, as we're about to see, but it can certainly be a respectable option at about $120,000. It's a good start, and with the barbed wire fences, it's the first line of defense and will give them enough time to bring out their weapons. Number 9. The Apocalyptic Inn in 2014, condos were built within a decommissioned missile base located in Kansas. If the missile base can withstand a nuclear war, it should be safe against zombies. The condos are housed behind 9-foot concrete walls, and people here have access to their own food and water supplies. Built in rural Kansas, it's most likely going to be one of the last places affected by the zombie virus. The rooms feature artificial windows, large TVs, and some even have swimming pools. Staying in tip-top shape could be a priority, considering the fact that if you encounter a zombie, you will certainly have to engage and some cardio. Preppers have access to a nearly unlimited supply of freeze-dried food, filtered air, and purified water. A full-floor condo with 1,800 square feet will cost you $3 million, but that's well worth the cost of your life. Number 8. The Hanging House This house here, located in Lithuania, could be a solid design to protect you from the hordes of the undead. A house like this would comfortably fit an entire family, and with a few basic changes, it could be an effective fortress. You're basically staying one step above the zombies, and while they're confused on how to get in, you can mow them down with your crossbow or weapon of choice. As long as you keep the bottom floor as a garage, use reinforced or bulletproof glass for the windows, and barricade well the only entrance into your compound, this should be zombie-proof. Having there only be one entrance to your home allows allows you to focus all your fortifications in one place. Consider having a trap door below so you can pour scalding hot oil on them in case they decide to camp out below you. This is kind of like what they did in the medieval times. Although it might not be the perfect design, being elevated has served as an advantage in numerous siege defenses throughout history. Number 7. Pharaoh Island Houses When it comes to choosing your hideout for the zombie apocalypse, a lot of your decisions need to be based on location. Finding somewhere isolated from the outside contact will be key. That's why relocating to the remote Faroe Islands could be a good choice. People have been living here for the past millennium, and they certainly don't need any help from the outside world. They could be so unaffected that there will still be electricity and other amenities. Located between the UK and Iceland, it seems to be nearly impossible for zombies to make it here. Locals are relying on a steady diet of fish, whale meat, and sheep, which all seem to be in steady supply. This is why you would just need to stock up on a little bit of vitamin C and stay in good health. Homes are sometimes built halfway underground, which allows you to stay hidden and keep warm, but also keep a good eye out on what's going on. Fresh water will also be plentiful, and all you'll need to do is melt some snow. Life here might be tough, but at least you won't become a zombie. Number 6. Chateau Artisan Having your own moat can definitely have its advantages during the zombie apocalypse. Whether the original purpose was to keep the in-laws or the Jehovah's Witnesses out, this moat could prove to be extremely valuable in the case of an outbreak. It's still under debate whether or not zombies can swim, but either way, this will certainly slow down anyone's attack. The moat could also prove to help aid in a food source if owners decide to try farming fish. Located in Florida, they could also decide to add flesh-eating crocodiles to the moat, which would further add to its defense. The towers could easily be transformed into machine gun or sniper nets and the multiple rooms could easily confuse attackers. In case of a hurricane, the house was also designed with a full generator and is impact resistant, so this will further aid in its defense against zombies. A chateau like this is going to cost someone around 11 million bucks, so save your lunch money. Number 5. Water Tower House while you're on the hunt for some proper strongholds against zombies, consider looking for a water or fire watch tower to transform into your new headquarters of defense. Towers have been used throughout the centuries as defensive structures. Offering you a 360 degree view of the land below, you could potentially spot zombies as far as the horizon. You'll have a tactical vantage point to snipe zombies with your high powered crossbow or silent sniper rifle. The possibilities here are endless. A man in Staffordshire, England did just this when he transformed an old water tower into a luxury five bedroom home. Here in this photo, you see the incredible view he has, and also the numerous windows he could position his weapon. It would take zombies quite a bit of time to actually make it to the top if they were to break in through the initial defense on the bottom floor. You'd probably come across some free water too. Number 4. Lake or River Forts 
Theoretically speaking, if you could build your stronghold directly over your fresh water source like we see in this photo, that would be ideal. During World War II, the British constructed a series of sea forts protecting the entrances of the Thames River. However, these seem to be a little too isolated from reliable food sources, and we all know seawater is completely useless. But building something like this over a fresher source of water could certainly be a great choice if you consider it. Even an ancient fort built on an island like we see in this photo of Por Bazin, built on a freshwater lake in Siberia, would be a great choice. Number 3. Bunker Houses Surviving the apocalypse is one thing, but surviving in style is another thing. Once you finally realize the zombies are gone, you might get a little bit bored, so having a cool house might be worth it in the long run. Driving by this place, you'd have no idea what lies underneath. This house in Las Vegas, Nevada was designed to withstand a nuclear apocalypse in the 1980s, but it was also equipped with an underground bunker. Here you got pink toilets, hot tubs, fake trees, and a realistic looking backyard. This will keep you somewhat mentally stable, and it'll remind you of what life was like before people just started eating each other's brains. What more could you need? It's located 26 feet below ground, so the zombies should never even realize you're there. You might even still have a chance to buy it, but it'll cost you $1.7 million. Number 2. Prisons Let's face it, you probably never want to consider making prison your new home, unless it's a zombie apocalypse. Here you basically already have everything you need to keep zombies out and they're certainly designed to make it difficult for you to get into. Alcatraz is certainly a famous place in America, but it could also be a great place to start a new settlement. Located right near San Francisco, it makes a great base for looting the mainland. If you and your zombie hunting squad manage to capture this area before other survivors, you should be able to defend it pretty well. The strong current has made it impossible to swim to. The elevated lighthouse would act as a perfect place for you to set up your stronghold, considering its vantage point. This will allow you to spot other scavenging zombies or surviving looters trying to make it onto your island. The land is suitable for growing crops, the water tower has fresh water in it, and it could certainly support a small population. If you got yourself a boat, go ahead and tie it up at the mini boat docks, but watch over it carefully. Number 1. The Safe House the safe house, located in Poland, is the ultimate secure zombie-proof house capable of withstanding numerous apocalypse scenarios. At the touch of a button, it basically turns into a giant concrete cube capable of withstanding nuclear blasts. This is about as secure as any modern home could get. There's nowhere for the zombies to enter. Doors and windows are tightly sealed from the outside world using concrete panels. When you want to leave, a drawbridge can be lowered and is your only way in or out during lockout mode. With a spacious interior, it's certainly somewhere you wouldn't mind staying during the apocalypse either. Here in this photo, you can see the concrete panels that will cover the windows and doors in case the virus breaks out. For further protection, another concrete wall is added around the structure, which is electronically sealed. As long as they're stocked up on plenty of supplies, there should be no problem surviving surviving here. Seems like the only thing this person is missing are the landmines in the front lawn. No expense can be spared for the zombie apocalypse.